Right, we have a problem. As this video goes on, and the technical spec and so on, you will hear me referring to the inner diameter of the air hole underneath the coil as 2.5 millimeters. That is because I measured them with this set of calipers instead of this set of calipers. Um, this set, for whatever reason, underreads by 0.5, and this one's bang on. Ah, uh, a nightmare. So just to clarify again. When you hear me going on about 2.5, it's completely wrong. The inner diameter is 3mm, the draw you can get through this at its most open is 3mm. <gasps> on with the show. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a quick look at an, a revision on an existing RTA. Uh, the Evil Reaper, or EVL however you want to say it, has been around for uh, some time now, a uh, titanium uh, rebuildable tank atomizer. Uh, there is a, a new revision out, or a new version, it's version 2, um, and it, really just to condense this down, it's, it's got more air. Um, also there's different top cap, uh, there's different options going on for it as well, but primarily uh, just, you know, cutting to the chase, it's essentially the same RTA, but with more air. Uh, there's going to be various options for this. You can get different sized tanks down the line. Um, all this will be hopefully be released next week. I'm pretty sure it's going to be next week. Uh, I could be wrong in that one, but uh, it's coming very, very soon. Uh, so, less of me talking, close-ups. So here we go, uh, the EVL Reaper version 2. It's still 22mm in diameter and I think it's 42mm in height, not including the drip tip or the 510. I think some of the options that you'll be able to get, and what I did get, I've had a prototype version of this one for quite some time. This is a production one, but uh, your airflow ring does pull off in the bottom. And um, I did get one of these sent on by John. I mean, this actually tapers out to 24 mil. This one, so depending on the size of the mod, you can see that it's kind of takes that out a bit further at the bottom. So there we go. And he did send me on another one that did have um, just a single hole configuration setups on this, rather than because just now you've got two air holes. You know, one on either side, and with this ring here, you know, it's always going to be the two air holes are always going to be open on either side. This one that I have here, I don't know if this is will also be an option, but uh, you can run just a single air hole. But this is the production one. Once again, we have EVL heavily engraved into there, which looks very nice. Uh, we've got a Pyrex tank, and, and once again, you know, there, there are going to be options for smaller, larger tanks. For this one, I mean, this is top fill, but what we've got here, and I've just started unscrewing this, this is a built-in uh, 510 drip tip. Once again, remember, this is titanium. Uh, so we've got a built-in drip tip there that, that kind of keeps it short, and you can just fill up through the two holes there, no problem at all. Uh, also included in the package was this little guy here. Pop that on, and then you can use your own 510 drip tip. It does make it for a bit of a larger device. That does take it to about 48 millimeters um, from 42. So yeah, it does make it, just using your own drip tips, it does make it a bit larger. The drip tip works fine, and, and it actually looks okay. It's in keeping with the rest of the device, uh, but it might not suit some people. Uh, but I just thought I should point that out. Uh, as always with the Reaper, you know, it's just everything is pretty much the same. Uh, you know, the deck will come out like so, and then you've got, you know, your chimney in there and so on. And you can unscrew this, take it to bits. Did I say that was Pyrex? It's not. That's, that's like a PMMA, this one. I did, with my prototype, I'm sure I had a glass on tank for my prototype. Yes, I did. I had a glass one there as well. Um, but this must be what's coming with the production version. So that just pops in there like that. You can see O-ring in there, and there's actually a chamfer on the, the PMMA here, or the polycarb, whatever you want to call it. And, yeah, just throw that back together. I suppose the, the most important thing here is the airflow. 
that's 2.5 millimeter that air hole there so that's the maximum amount of air that you're going to get passing up underneath your coil I'll be honest, I can't actually remember. I should really go and watch my own video on how large this was on the, the old Reaper. But it's 2.5 here. And taking that airflow ring off just to point out that these on either side are 2.5 as well. So you've got two 2.5s there. But once again, you know, you're only going to get 2.5 through this. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of uh, trusting John here, but I am assuming that uh, these air holes here are, so you're looking at 2.5, 2 mil. 1.5 and 1 mil and oh my god is that actually a hole this does sit on two o-rings and it does move it's stiff but it moves freely so i have no issues with that in fact this is all uh, we're going back if you're an evil reaper user from the past then this is all going to be familiar territory um it's just built like the last one it's built very very well 510 down the bottom we've got a serial number there and I'm just going to chuck a quick build in here. And just so that I'm hip down cool and with the kids, uh, there's a Clapton in here. Uh, this is a 3mm inner diameter. Uh, Clapton, it came in a pack. I couldn't tell you any more about it. Uh, and yeah, it's just sitting in there quite the thing. Obviously this isn't something that I would normally use in a Reaper, but I just wanted to uh, get a, a chunkier coil in there. So yeah, you, you can do it if you want. I mean, this is coming out about 0.8, uh, but uh, right, we'll, we'll get some cotton in here. As always with the Reaper, this, this is just the same as before. I just, you know, put my cotton through and then take my scissors, line up from there and cut there. Uh, and then just soak the cotton and then just bend it down so that it sits on that ledge just right there. And that's me. That's me. I've got my cotton down. It's just lightly touching the top of that ledge there. Um, those of you that have built the Reaper before, you know you can usually get away with jam packing a whole pile of cotton in there. But uh, I'm just going kind of canny. And, and that's me. Yeah, I'll pop that back in here. We'll screw this together. There we go. Nothing wrong with the threads or anything like that. It's all good. Just grab the drip tip and unscrew the top here. Fill this up with some juice. And then screw this back down. I've not had any problems getting this on and off. You just grab it by the drip tip and, and I'll unscrew. Uh, it's not exactly, it doesn't look like a totally flush fit there, but it is. The, the, there's no gaps or anything with it going on. Uh, those of you, once again, that know the Reaper will know that, um, you know, you do have juice flow control just by unscrewing the tank. Um, you know, a couple of turns lifts it up and gets the juice in about there. Or you can just leave it totally screwed down depending on which liquid you're using. Me personally, even running a heavy VG, I can usually leave it totally screwed down. But if you want, just back it off a tiny little turn and then it'll start wicking away quite the thing. But that's it for the Reaper. Right, I can sum this up quite quickly for you. I won't put you through the normal droning on that I do. Um, if you've had a Reaper in the past, if you like the draw that you get, stay with it. I wouldn't bother with this. I really wouldn't. Uh, you'll be fine. If, however, you like the Reaper, you like the flavour you get, but you want more air, then this is a no-brainer. I would fully recommend it based on that. But just remember, 2.5mm is that's the most air you're going to get underneath your coil. So it's not a, you know, a full-on lung hit. It's still a restricted lung hit, but you can close it down to a mouth-to-lung if you want. But, I mean, I'm 25 watts on a 1 ohm coil here, 3 millimeter in a diameter, clapped in coil. And it's got a beautiful dense vape to it. The flavour is... It's up there with the best. It really is. It's, it's up there with the best out there, in my opinion. Um, as was the original Reaper, the flavour is still kick-ass. Um, you can, as I said, you can adjust the, you know, the juice flow control just by turning the tank. But to be honest, I give this, I'm on a 80 VG. 
and I've actually only given this a quarter turn and it's still wicking away like a champion. Um, top cap, this one, I prefer it. I really do. I just prefer this because I like to put my own 510 drip tips on it. Yes, the other one does make it a lot shorter. There's no two ways about it. It's a lot shorter, but I don't find that as comfortable to vape on. Uh, that's just me. I just don't find that as comfortable to vape on. Once again, it's titanium. Um, you're going to get all these optional extras. You'll be able to get tank extensions and so on. Uh, you'll be able to get, you know, these little flared uh, airflow rings for the bottom to take it out to 24 millimeter if you want. Uh, there was that single air hole option one. I don't know for a fact if these are going to be a thing or not. Uh, but John's, you know, basically he's updated the airflow. He's given you a different top cap and there's more options available for this. I like the fact that it doesn't look like a pro tank anymore. <laughs> so, um, that's just for John. Uh, no, it doesn't look like a pro tank anymore uh, with this top section here. Uh, it's... I like it fully open. The, my, air, my airflow chain tastes have changed. Um, and I, I really like this. It wicks. It wicks really, really well. Um, it's a good tank. It's a good tank. It's nothing innovative at the deck. You know, it's, it's nothing that you haven't seen for a few years now. I mean, that two-post system with the air hole in the middle has been around for ages. It's nothing new at all. Um, but it works. You know, it's... Um, I like... and I, I mean, I love my Skyline, my Hussars and things like that. I absolutely love them uh, for various reasons, for the way they're designed, for the way the, the function and the build quality, things like that. I, I love so, it's a whole pile of things coming together that makes me love a certain tank. Um, this one is, whilst it doesn't have all these design, smart design ideas and things like that, it's just a bloody good tank that gives outstanding flavour and, and, and that's 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 what makes it good for me. It may not be all singing, all dancing, but just that flavour and now that increased airflow that makes it really good. It's really, really good. And just for shits and giggles, I'm just opening up that just flow control, just taking it a little tiny turn. It still doesn't look like there's a gap there as such. I've put it up to 30 watts in a one ohm coil. Still wicking away like a champion. So you can if you want to. You can get some clouds out of this thing. Um, listen, thank John if you watch this. I don't know why you would. Thanks for sending this on, mate. I do appreciate it. Um, keep an eye on the, the website. Keep an eye on the website, and uh, if you do fancy one, go along. I'm sure it's going to be in the next week or so, and then you can pick one up. It's worth it for the flavour. Flavour's great. <laughs> right, I'm going. Uh, guys, as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Cheers now. Bye.